Assalamu alaikum. What's up, guys? It's been a while since the last video, but uh, what can I say? I've been really busy. Baby Jews are real. Today, I wanted to show you one of Japan's craziest stores. Sure, that's a big statement because there are some really quirky stores out here, but nothing as vast and all encompassing as Don Quixote. This place has everything from things you need, from things you don't need, and things you didn't know you needed until you walked in. For my fellow Londoners, the best comparison I can come up with is Woolworths meets the Cascade store. Remember that really weird store that used to be next to Marble Arch Station? No? Even Google doesn't have a single image. If you do remember, please let me know in the comments so I don't feel so old. Anyway, Donkey, as it's shortened to here, is located all across the country with more than 160 stores. You can find them everywhere. But enough talking. Should we take a look inside? Of course! Don Quixote. Let's go inside. Let's go inside, come. Hi, Sha. You don't have to touch everything. All right, what do we have here first? Wall stories. Good for when you're having a crap day because you can stare at some of these guys having an even crapper one. The sock wall. All the socks you could ever imagine. The pink, the purple, the pointless. Same goes for boxer shorts too. Cable bikes. Really cute, but really unnecessary. But still, really cute. I'm swiping, I'm in. Wait, wait, don't run off, don't run off. Oh this place is like a maze. Barely any space to walk through these aisles. Come on, let's go. <laughs> a whole line of poo clothing. Just FYI, I've never seen anyone walking around in any of these things. Who actually buys these? PlayStation 1 tops. Glad to see they're keeping up with the times here. Another section with more poo clothing. Clearly, this is aimed at the cooler clientele. Party clothing. Donkey takes party clothing very seriously. Sometimes they have more than one floor dedicated to costumes, wigs, masks, etc, etc. And this is all year round, not just for Halloween. <laughs> Tap pants. I was going to make a joke here, but I didn't want to force it. An unexpectedly large assortment of rain jackets here. This particular brand is apparently fun on rainy days. Pokemon 3-in-1 bead pillows. Now this is actually a pretty cool idea. Great for travelling with easily entertained kids. Unfortunately, I don't know any of those. Action eyes. They look like eyes that are buzzed out from lack of sleep. I should call them parent eyes. And here we have a bum trimmer. You know, for all those irritating eyelashes you have growing off your posterior. This is the training equipment area. But why, why are they in suits? And why do they look like they're singing? Except for that guy on the right at least. What was happening in that marketing strategy board meeting? <sighs> Bath bombs. These are seriously popular here. They're basically the Japanese version of Kinder Eggs, with the main exception being that you'll die if you eat the outer casing. You want to see how they work, don't you? All right. What do we have here? Some kind of action hero. All right. This time it's orange. And what shape is it? Egg shape. Go and put it inside the water. Aisha, not you. Wow, it's fizzing straight away, isn't it? Wow. Look at that. What does it smell like? It smells good. <laughs> Everything smells good to you. Mmm, it smells like oranges. <laughs> Pretty cool figure that came out actually. Better than the usual stuff that comes out. This is actually not that small. It's got points of articulation. Now then, where were we? Skywater. Was this supposed to be a cool name or is this actually bottled rain? I'm confused. Still better than that time Coca Cola was selling us tap water, right? <laughs> they also have lots of toys here, and aside from the usual popular toy brands, they have a good selection of other creative kids' toys as well, like mini 3D models metal samurai armor and nano blocks which is basically lego only smaller nice character overalls these things are awesome to go snowboarding in street fighter t-shirts in a bottle why the bottle is this a brand or just a random print either way who thought this was going to be a good idea i am hay fever no donkey would be complete without cockroaches in a box these are probably responsible for more heart attacks here than all fast food stores combined. There's just too much in this store. Let's just quick fire through these. Recycled poo pads, don't dwell on it. Old lady hats, mini Pac-Man arcade machines, more Kit Kat flavors than you could shake a stick at. Never understood that phrase, but just seemed quite fitting. Rice shape makers for unruly kids, airplane marshalling battens, suitcases for your hamster, idiot screaming pillows, festive dog hats, screaming rubber chickens, donkey crocs, animal tail lamps, zero gravity cushions, roast chicken hats, Saturday night fever balls, creepy robots in suspiciously generic packaging and hot sweet potato 
on its own with literally no other hot foods of any sort anywhere in the store. So there you have it. The next time you're in Japan, make sure you have half a day off, a full wallet, and an extra suitcase to fill with things you probably won't even ever use. And gifts your family will never open. I'm just joking, I don't buy gifts for my family. But if you like this video, please leave a like, a submit, a submit, a like, a share, a subscribe, a comment, whatever. Uh, and see you in the next video. Cheers, well done it.